Hello people and welcome to the sixth part of this live drum mixing tutorial. Now that we are pretty much done with the cleanup, we can use the usual EQing and compression. Although perhaps we could have done a bit more detailed cleaning, uh, but whatever. Um, everything from this point onward is pretty much also applicable to BST drums. And as always, it's all highly dependent on the drums and the recordings and whatnot. So for the shells, so kick drum, snare drum, and toms, I like to compress and then EQ. And for the hi-hat and cymbals, I like to filter, then compress, and then EQ. And for the room mics, I EQ and then compress. First of all, I like to set the EQs of everything to get the basic sounds that I want. And then I'll put the compressors where I want them and adjust everything accordingly. So let's just start off by EQing the kick drum. I like to start off by soloing the kick drum and filtering out some mids and boosting a couple of stuff and then checking in context of the mix. So let's just go with the flow and see what happens. All right. Alrighty, for basic first EQing, this is fine. Now let's go on with the snare. Mm -hmm. Again, start off with the mids. So this one kilohertz area is always something I don't like with the snare. Check in context. Yeah, just some basic equing first, and then let's check the toms. As you EQ, always remember to adjust your volumes because it will all change. Okay, now so we have a basic setup for our shells. Um, now let's go on with hi-hat and cymbal and room. Where's my hi-hat boy? Here. Uh, Okay, perhaps I need to filter and EQ my hi-hats and cymbal a little differently than I put at first because I filtered them a little too high and I'm losing a little bit of the hitting chunk and the impact of the cymbals. And without those, you will lose groove. So... Okay, yeah, you get a bit of this honkiness back in there, but it's kind of part of your hit on the cymbals, so you gotta work with that. Uh, uh, you know what? I guess for hi-hat, I'm gonna just totally EQ it before compression. Yeah, something around those lines. And now the overheads. Yeah, I gotta do this a little differently too. I 
guess, for the overheads in this one, I'm also just going to EQ before the compressor. It's also interesting when you um, experiment with your signal chain a little bit, because when you EQ before the compressor and you boost your mids or your high end, then the compressor can kind of counteract on it in a way that it tames the sound a little bit. And it can get kind of interesting results in the end. So never forget to experiment and listen closely. Now for those overheads, I don't really want to use a high shelf because they sound rather sizzly. So something like this should do. Let's compare to this one. Yeah, nah, too much sizzle. So just a broad band around this area. Sometimes I like to mute some stuff to see uh, in what way exactly it interacts on the rest. For example, now I muted the overhead and the hi-hat a couple of times to see how it interacts with the rhythm guitars, because they can kind of easily stand in each other's way. Okay, and lastly, the room mic. Uh... It's gonna change up the whole drum sound again quite a bit. So, RQ6. Hmm. Now that I listen to the room mic again, I kind of would have liked to have the cymbals louder in there. Well, whatever. Now I know for next time. So. Okay, and some mids to get a bit more aggression in there. Context again. Okay, now that we have a basic EQ setup, perhaps we can start off with some more precise EQing. So, snare sounded a little dump to me. Now the snare sounds okay. Let's get to the kick drum again. Okay, this is kind of how I like to do it lately with the kick drum. Just use a high shelf to boost the whole high hand a little bit. Or, well, in this case, a little lot. <laughs> and um, then use another band with a little steeper cue and boost a specific frequency to get a bit more precision in there and to let the kick uh, punch through the mix a little more precisely. 
Well, now that EQing wise, yeah, we have our basic setup. Um, we can use a little bit of compression 